When you're planning your screenplay or trying to revise it, you have to know the difference between story beats and character beats. Because if you don't, we're going to tackle story beats first. But for those of you who don't outline your screenplays before you start writing them, which you should be doing because your stories will be better and you won't waste as much time on drafts that go nowhere, understanding the difference between story beats and character beats is going to be even more challenging. Story beats are simply the building blocks you need to actually have a story that goes from beginning to end. These are the things that the story must have. And if any of them are missing, the audience will be either confused about something, confused about a lot of some things, or just plain lost. And for the most part, when you talk about a movie with someone else, the story beats are the this happens, then that happens, then this happens, then that happens stuff. So on its most basic level, the concept of story beats should make sense to you. It's the stuff that has to happen for the story to go from fade in to fade out. But it's a little more complicated than that, and this is why. If you don't know what a story actually is, so if you don't know what parts you need to have a story work, you won't know what beats you actually need for your story to work. And that's really the trap a lot of new writers fall into. They think they know what a story is because they've watched a bunch of movies, they've read a bunch of stories, they know what a story is, but they don't. A great example I've often used is one of cars. Because you've ridden in cars before, you've seen them, you know what a car looks like and that this is a good car and this is not. But can you articulate what makes a car and what makes a truck? And more importantly, could you build a car? Do you know what parts you absolutely must have to have a working car? Now do all of that and replace the word car with story. You know what a story looks like, that this is a good story and that this is not, but can you articulate what makes a good story and what makes a bad one? And more importantly, could you build a story? Do you know what parts you absolutely must have to have a working story? So that's the first order of business when it comes to story beats. The beats are the pieces of story you need to have a functional story that looks and feels like a story. And when you're planning out your story, when you're outlining, you are figuring out what the story beats are before you start writing. Because it helps you know you have an actual story before you spend months trying to write the screenplay. And here's a pro tip. This is why professional writers can write scripts from idea to polished draft in a few months. On average, 10 to 12 weeks, because they know how to plan the story. They know what a story looks like and know what pieces they must have to have a functional story. And so they build in the story beats they must have in their outline, which makes the writing process go much much faster. But if all you're concerned about is the story beats, you will have a flat or predictable story. And that's because there's another equally important component, the character beats. When you hear the phrase character beats, this is referring to the transformation the character goes through over the course of the story. It's their character arc. So for example, they learn to be less selfish and more of a team player. That's an arc. And their arc, the beats that move them from selfish to being a team player, each of those key moments a character must go through, all of those moments are called character beats. But character beats also have to be planned and they kind of lay on top of the story beats. So maybe you have a character who is selfish and you've decided that one of the steps on their journey is they have to lose something important to them. That's a character beat. And it doesn't matter what they lose. Maybe they lose a job or a spouse or significant other. Maybe they lose a promotion or they lose an award that they thought they were going to get or a game or whatever. It doesn't matter. For the character beat, it doesn't matter because the character beat is they must lose. Now the story, okay, the story has a few opportunities for this because for the story to work in the story beats, the main character actually loses a job and a spouse and their home. But your character beat, the one character beat of the character needing to lose something significant, that could be laid over any one of those story beats. And so you would choose which of those losses in the story beat makes the best sense and syncs up with the character beat 
of the character losing something important to them. So you have story beats that make the story work, and you have character beats that make the character's transformation work. And only when those two things are working together do you have a shot at having a story that is both unpredictable and entertaining. And when it comes to beats of the story or the character, you can move them around. The story beats you can move around, but not as much, because again, it's this happens, that happens, this happens. There is a little bit of an order. But character beats, sometimes you can move those around a whole lot. So if you know what story beats are that you need, and you know what the character beats are that you need, now you can orchestrate how all the things play out. That this story beat feeds this character beat, which feeds this other story beat, and so on. And they don't have to alternate like that either. In fact, you will have more story beats than character beats in your screenplay. Sometimes only a few more, sometimes a lot more, depending on the type of story you're telling. So here's another pro tip. Stories that are more action-driven have fewer character beats because the character arcs in those stories are not as big. But stories that are leaning more toward drama, those are gonna have more character beats. And where this matters is not just in the writing of the first draft, but also in the revising. So when you're writing the draft two and three and four, because if you come across a scene in one of your revisions that you need to dump, you're like, this scene just doesn't fit anymore. I need to get rid of it. You have to know which story beats or which character beats or which of both are in that scene. Meaning which beats do you need to keep and move to other scenes because you're dumping that one. And if you don't know what a story beat even is, how can you identify what you need to keep and what you need to move? And simply, you can't. So if you don't know what makes a story a story, you need to learn. And there are other videos on this channel that can help you with that. And there's some links below that can help you with that. If you aren't sure what character arcs are or how to build them, this video is for you. If you found any value, please be sure to hit the appropriate fun buttons below. And when you go to tell a story, tell a story that matters. See you later.